There's been a recent outbreak of another disease in dogs, leptospirosis. It's a spiral shaped bacteria that's typically transmitted in water and it's typically found in slow moving or stagnant water. A dog is getting the disease by having some type of wound on their body, say even just inflamed skin from an allergy. They're stepping in that stagnant water and then the bacteria is transmitting in through the wound. And if a dog is infected, they can get very sick, fever, tissue swelling, excessive bleeding, tissue bruising. 14 days post-infection, the bacteria have set up shop in the kidneys. Then these dogs are gonna have measurable changes in their kidneys, signs of kidney disease. Increased drinking, increased urination. Blood tests will show azotemia that's elevated BUN creatinine. 90% of dogs have blood work showing kidney damage. The bacteria can spread to the eyes, causing eye inflammation or uveitis. It can even affect the lungs. It's typically getting into this water via wild animals. Raccoons and rats are the most common reservoirs. They're infected with leptospirosis. They pass it in urine, makes its way into the water, and the water then contaminates the soil. Up to 10 different subtypes of serovars can affect our dogs. The vaccine, it only includes four serovars. But the lepto vaccine has a higher and above average incidence of side effects in terms of fever, pain at the vaccine site, it's been linked to autoimmune diseases. If your dog's infected with the disease, there is a treatment. Most dogs respond to doxycycline and or amoxicillin. Many also need fluid support, IV fluids. You should be rushing out getting a vaccine. If you have a dog like I have, little Tula, she stays away from any body of water. She has no cuts or wounds on her leg. We're not walking in areas where there's a lot of dogs and there's a lot of standing water. I'm not going to give her the vaccine. She's at minimal to no risk. But if you have a lab, he's got an ongoing skin condition, allergies, likely secondary skin damage. He's jumping in every body of water and you live in an area where there's a lot of stagnant water, then you may want to consider the vaccine. And if your dog ever has any of those clinical signs, the fever, the tissue swelling, increased drinking, increased urination, see your veterinarian as soon as possible.